Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Well, before we head to Missidia, I need to take care of something that I very, very nearly forgot, but uh, did we notation that should be done in the previous video. And that is to bring the pan back to Yang's wife. Yang's life. Whatever. Oh, ma'am! Yes, yes. <laughs> and she gives us a dive. <laughs> yes, what is the knife? Well... <laughs> In the Super Nintendo version of the game, this was called the Spoon. But, uh, Edge has the, uh... best analysis of it. This is a knife which nobody can equip. This is a throw... this is something that Edge can throw. Kind of like a shuriken. And, um... It is the most obscenely powerful weapon in the game. Which is why we only get one. You can pretty much rely that when you throw this thing, you will get maximum damage out of it. <laughs> but, now that we've picked that up, we can actually set about uh, pursuing this lunar whale. That's we, of course, by making our way uh, to Mesidia. And because it's worth pointing out, Rydia has a particular comment on it. Are there really that dragon? Dragons that large in Mesidia? Well... You can actually- there is! You can see it from the map! I've been waiting for you! Come! We must go to the Tower of Prayer! Just rehearse the legend. Birthed from womb of dragon's maw, and born unto the stars, by light and darkness cast aloft, our dreamtime oaths resworn, moved and swathed in ever light, ne'er again to no eclipse, earth with hallowed bounty reconcealed. What's it all mean? Pray now, with all your heart, prophecy must be made reality. There is no other time but now. Behold, my children! She has heard our prayers! She is risen! The promised ship of light! The Luna Whale! Wow! 
voice spoke to me in the midst of our prayers. Go to the moon, it said. He awaits you there. The moon? How? The lunar whale is a ship from the moon. According to the writings I've discovered, there should be a teleportation crystal on board, in addition to the crystals that, that serve to power its flight. That crystal controls travel between here and the moon. Speak to it and it will transport you between the two faster than you can even blink. Alright. But before boarding the whale, make sure you've taken care of things here on here on Earth. <laughs> uh, most specifically e entailing Yong hitting Yong with the frying pan and and retreat and returning it to get the knife. I know that hitting Yong with the pan is not doable af after you've been to the moon. So, uh, don't leave that behind. Let's go. What will we find here on the Lunar Whale? Well, first off, this is functionally our home base for the rest of the game. Because, uh, well, we have a means of resting. And in the Super Nintendo based versions of the game, we also we also have a Robo Fat Chocobo to uh manage to manage help manage inventory. That's uh well this guy does the same thing that the uh, chocobo that all the fat chocobos do, so uh no more need for the crystal greens, that's for sure. But of greater importance, if we speak to this crystal, then it will take us to the moon. If we, if we interact with this, then we can fly the whale around. Let's go. Alright! The moon is not a particularly large area, well, uh, as you can imagine. So, what hallmarks are to be found? Well, we have this cave here entire system of caves, and the Crystal Palace. Whoever told us to come to the moon wants us to come to the Crystal Palace. So naturally, that is not going to be the first place we stop by. Let's stop here. <laughs> Off to the moon in the blink of an eye. Well, fortunately, there is an atmosphere, so we can walk around. And here in this cave, we have the Hummingway Abode. That is what most people will do. There's the merchant. <laughs> and here we have us a merchant who uh, sells a lot of useful items. Most notably these. It's a... Uh, That should be enough. <laughs> and we'll definitely want these. Because let's face it, this is a dangerous place. Fortunately, we don't really have a lot of good use for money anymore, or anyway, so... Sell off a bunch of the stuff that we're not going to make use of. Um, let's see here. I do not need that. No, I don't need that shield. Not for sure. 
I like, 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 Right. We'll wander up this way. Pick up an augment. The real reason to swing by. <laughs> uh. So many of these strange little creatures. Oh, amusingly, uh. Stop the humming! That explains the humming. Hello, sir! Hi there! Oh! How did you get up here? Oh, whatever. Oh. Hmm. Little guy formerly known as Namingway. Well, that was fun and amusing. I had to get back to business, I suppose. Alright. It definitely should be said, at this point, now that we have landed on the whale, if you... Er, now that we have landed on the moon, if you if you want, you can go back to the dwarven smith that we left the adamantite and the mythgraven blade aid with, and uh, he'll be done with his sword at this point. But uh, it's not too important to grab that now. It's useful, but uh, not especially important. So we won't worry about it. Instead, we'll worry about making our way over to the crystal palace. And that other cave up there is also useful, but it's a little dangerous. We'll want to swing by that Crystal Palace first. There's much mapping to be done in these lunar tunnels. Lunar tunnels, however, are quite straightforward. Like clans and dark grenades. It's definitely the wrong, the wrong element to use. Oh well. Boot to the bob. Dark grenades are capable of dropping the bomb summon, so, uh, they're worth fighting. And the Black Flans can also drop Rainbow Pudding. This might be a good place to go looking for such things. For 
moment. Want to get ambushed. Wait. Ambushed by more things! These things might not survive! Oh, Cecil keeps missing, they will. I swear they gave they gave those they made those guys poisonous just to rub salt in a in a wound if you what if you've gotten rid of antidotes by now. They literally just seem to be able to do that to annoy you. Oh well. Fairly clear and obvious behind why I've, I've uh, kept the defender. <laughs> Cecil takes a real beating up here. Fortunately, he can heal himself after after the fight. His path will fork again. We want to go off to the right. More boxes. And a curtain and stardust. Stardust is an item form of the comet spell. I'm curious to see if those two will get that spell off before, uh... Before these guys queue enough, enough kicks to, to kill themselves. Wow! I never get to see Ultima. Good grief. Cecil nearly died just trying to channel just trying to cast that thing in the first place.
Oh great, I missed a spot. Oh, I'll find it on my way back. I think I saw it, actually. Enemies kill off themselves quick. Hold on a second. All right. This lunar tunnel is a lot more straightforward. get this uh, off shoot and then, well, the rest of the tunnel will get, will kind of get mapped naturally. Let's maintain this rate, I might have to restock on those. No matter. Keep coming! Hooray! We got three sirens as a reward! Which incidentally is what we get from mapping the other tunnel. But, made it to the Crystal Palace. What awaits within? Well, fancifully enough. Oh, we have a, uh... have a means of restoring our health! And, on the other side, a means of restoring our magic! Yay! So always come to the right side, use magic to heal your party, and then st and then step on the pad. Who or what is here? At last, you've arrived. Who are you? I am Fusoya. I am charged with watching over the slumber of the Nardians. Yes, we, the people of the moon, 
Long ago, a world that lay between the red planets and the great behemoth stood at the verge of destruction, both terrible and complete. The last survivors of that devastation boarded a ship and escaped to the Blue Planet. The Blue Planet? The one you call home. But your planet was still in the midst of its evolution, you see. And so, those travelers created a second moon for the planet, and there they settled into a long and quiet slumber. And there the Lunarians! Indeed. But there was one among us who was loath to sleep. He thought it fit that we should simply raise all existing life on the Blue Planet and claim it as our own. Yes. Niles. And so I used my powers to force him into hibernation with the others. But as he slept, his will grew stronger and took on a consciousness all its own. It reached out to men with tainted hearts on your planet, twisting them into beings yet darker still. And through them, he began to gather the crystals. So, he's manipulating Golbez. This guy have a name! His name is Zemus. The crystals function as a source of energy, you see. I fear that he has gathered them in order to activate the interdimensional elevator within the Tower of Babel. With it, he will be able to transport the giants of Babel to your planet and use it to extinguish all life there. That could be a problem. But do not be mistaken. His will is not that of all we Lunarians. The rest of us have been waiting quietly for your planet's people to progress to such a point that we might treat with one another as equals. We but wait in sleep, dreaming of that day. So where'd the leader whale come from? Ah, the ship. My younger brother Kluya built that vessel long ago and flew it to the Blue Planet. He took with him several of our secrets, such as the ones employed in, in your Devil's Road and in airships, a gift to your people. Pluyo was fascinated by your planet and wished to know more of it. And while he was there, he fell in love with the woman in of your planet. She later bore him two children. One of them was you. Wait, what? The voice I heard on Mount Ordeals was the spirit of your father. Indeed, you're the very image of Kluya in his youth. He vested you with his power so that you might prevent Zemus's plot from coming to fruition. Zemus must be stopped, for your planet's sake, and for that of my people as well. We must hurry to the Tower of Babel near Eblon. Well, the tower's protected with some kind of barrier. There's no way to get in it. I should be able to bypass the barrier. We must not let the Giant of Babel be unleashed upon your world. Yay! <laughs> uh, I do enjoy the thought bubbles. <laughs> but as for Fus as for Fusoya, well, he comes to us fairly well equipped, and uh, he also comes to us at level fifty, which um, funnily enough, is uh, not especially impressive. Amusingly, really. However, we definitely want to give him a couple of augments. Which, uh, well, I bothered to get the augments off of Sid, specifically so I can throw them at Fusoya. Pick up Adrenaline, and we'll also give him the upgrade. Uh... Ah, 
And another factor with Fuslia. He actually comes with every spell in the game. Every single one of them. And it is in a large list which needs to be properly sorted. So, uh, give me a moment. Alright. I think I have his, his magic list sorted to a point where I can find things. Fancifully enough, uh, Fusley is kind of... kind of serves us better as a white magic user than a black magic user, but, uh, you know. His, his uh, bless ability will, uh, restore magic points. So, that's nice and useful. But at the moment, there's nothing more for us to do at the Crystal Palace. Our concern should be returning to the whale. Hey, stuff. The funny thing about Fusli is that, um, he apparently cannot get any- gain any more power. It's like, it- it's quite possible for him to gain in levels, but when Fusli gains a level, all he does is gain a level. His HP doesn't go up, his MP doesn't go up, none of his stats go up, he just gains a level. Which may or may not actually mean anything. <laughs> so, while Fusa is very useful to have around in the party, don't worry about him if he goes down. Alright, where's this spot I missed? I think it's over here. Is that it? Been an awful lot of work to find a speck on the map. moment to actually rest. And at this point, do not return to Earth until you are prepared to proceed. 
there's still one more thing we want to, to get up here on the moon. Or one more thing we want to address. And that is over here in this cave. But there's a couple more things that we want to get, all of which are found in, to be found in that cave. <laughs> However, cave is a very dangerous place, one which we will want to uh, very specifically prepare for. Put that flame shield, put that ice armor, fire, ice, and lightning, and now you absorb them. That is going to prove it incredibly useful, and it still might not be enough. But, we'll see what these preparations avail us next time. See you then. Later.